Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, today we're going to make relish. And I'm not going to make a huge uh, recipe of relish. Relish for the simple reason is we don't eat a lot of it. But it's nice to have once in a while. You're going to need cucumbers, celery, onions, and red pepper. I also have a yellow pepper. You're going to need kosher salt or coarse pickling salt, cider vinegar, brown sugar, celery seed, and mustard powder or mustard seed. Okay, now if you don't have a chopper like I do, Go ahead and use a um, cheese grater for your cucumbers, but I'm going to use my chopper. Now, I want these diced up nice and fine, so I'm cutting them in fairly slim slices, and we're going to need two cups of diced cubes. And one of the things I love about this chopper is when you stand it up on its end, it has a measuring cup. Okay, that says we have two cups of diced cucumber. Let's put that in there. Now we need three quarters of a cup of diced peppers. Now you can put green peppers in here if you want, folks, but I like the color. And there's our three quarters of a cup of diced peppers. And here we have a cup and a half of diced celery. and a cup and a half of diced onion. And to this, we're gonna add about a quarter cup of kosher salt, or coarse pickling salt. And we're gonna to toss this together, and we're gonna let this sit in the fridge for four hours. What this salt is going to do is pull a lot of the water out of the vegetables, because there's nothing worse and watery relish. All right, we'll be back in four hours. All righty. Our relish veggies have been sitting in the fridge in that salt, and look at all the water that's been pulled out. So now, we're just gonna drain that off, and we're gonna rinse them. Swishing it around in some water. As soon as these are finished draining, we'll see you guys at the stove and we'll finish making our relish. One of the wonderful things about having a pressure canner is as long as you've got that rack in the bottom, it will double as a boiling bath canner. So I've got it filled about one-third full of hot water and I'm going to drop some vinegar in it and that will be our boiling bath canner. Let's make our relish. Alrighty, our burner's on. To it, we're going to add one cup of cider vinegar and a cup and a half to a cup and three quarters of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of celery seed, and a half a teaspoon of dry mustard. And then we're gonna add our drained vegetables. Now, we're just gonna cook this. We're gonna bring it up to a simmer, and then we're gonna let it cook down for about a half an hour. We wanna make sure all the sugar is dissolved and it, all those seasonings and the vinegar are in the vegetables. All right. Our relish is ready to go in the jars. And I'm using my little half pint jars. And you want to make sure they go in the jars hot. Now, like I said, if you like a thicker relish, you can go ahead and add a teaspoon of cornstarch or potato starch to your sugar mixture before you add the vinegar. I'm just going to take our wooden fork here and we're going to fill our jars to one inch from the top 
Now we are not pressure canning these folks. We're boiling bath canning it. You're going to always, always, always wipe the rims of your jars with a damp paper towel or cloth. Put on a hot lid and into the boiling bath canner it goes. We'll be back when these are all in the canner. That recipe gave us five pints and it's in the boiling bath canner for about 10 minutes. Gives me just enough time to go milk the goats. It's been 10 minutes or so. Now we're just going to take our jars out of the boiling bath, arrange them on a dry folded towel, and we'll just let them cool down until they ping. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, even if you don't use it that often, you still gotta have homemade relish.